Okay, so these are my three Raspberry Pis. Uh, I've had the Gen 1.1, which I've been overclocking for about six or seven months now, and I've been using 2147 as the arm frequency, and the over voltage is six, and it's been incredibly stable. Haven't had any issues, I've been gaming with it, all sorts of things. You can see I'm cooling it with a Pimeroni fan shim, and I would definitely recommend the Pimeroni fan shim. It's lovely and quiet, um, and uh, it's a, a case that I made myself, so it's not a fancy case. Uh, so, up until now, I've had this one, which is my 4 gig uh, Gen 1.2, uh, so the second release of the original, uh, which just had the power fix sorted out. Uh, and this has had, you can see there's some aluminium uh, fins on there to cool it down uh, on the GPU, the CPU, and the RAM. And it's also been inside this case. But now I've got my 8 gig Pi uh, in this case, and you can see there's active cooling in there. Super cheap case. This was from Amazon. I, I don't think they've got them anymore, uh, but it was £4.20, and, uh, and it's absolutely fine. This is running at the moment at 2147, uh, and you can see on the display, so 47, 48 degrees. It's been on for about an hour, hour and a half, something like that, and it's... Uh, all sorts of uh, pages open, but also it's running YouTube in the background, so it's playing in the background as well. And uh, I've got bookshelf up, I've got uh, a document open, and everything is running super fast. I mean, I really, really can't complain. This new 64-bit Raspbian OS is amazing. But what I did find with this, when I first started to use this particular uh, device in this casing, uh, it, it would freeze a lot and it would freeze on Raspbian OS 64-bit uh, after about a minute or two minutes of being on. So there was all sorts of things I was doing. I was opening tabs, I was trying things, and it would just freeze. Uh, and so I'd restart and it'd be fine for a bit. And it wasn't overheating at all. So you can see here, uh, it's gone up a bit because I've been playing around. It's gone up to 57 degrees. It won't really get very much higher than that at all. It, it does stay very stable at this. So why was it freezing? Uh, well, I found out uh, that uh, the Raspberry Pi 4 8 gig uses a bit more power um, and it has got, there's a slightly different way of it using USB-C power but uh, really because it's got that extra RAM, uh, so another 4 gig of RAM, it needs a bit more power in it. So if I go to my root and go to boot and go to config.txt, these are the ones that these are the settings that work well for me. So I basically increased the over voltage. So I was running it at six, which was absolutely fine on these two. So the four gig models, the older models, but on the eight gig model, six doesn't cut it. So I've increased the over voltage to eight. Uh, I've kept all the other settings the same and it's been running like this for an hour and a half, two hours and it's, and it's been absolutely great. So, I, and I have run the, the other ones, I've run both of these at 2250 on the custom kernel and they've been stable on that as well. I've got an emulator video on my channel, but I generally stick to 2147 uh, and that's what I'll be continuing to do on this eight gig model. I had worried that um, you know, they talk about the silicon lottery and not having a, a model that is as good. And uh, I, was, I was quite worried that that was the case with my eight gig, but it turns out that it's not an issue at all. And, uh, and once the over voltage was pushed up just that little bit, and if you're worried about the settings, so that over voltage is the equivalent of 0 0.05 volt uh, there's an interesting article on Tom's Hardware uh, and it's worth looking at. I'll put a link in the description to it. It's where I first read about the overclocking of the Pi and it's been very useful for me. But uh, yeah, just, just to let people know that uh, if you're using all the same builds and all the same operating systems you were using before and you were overclocked to 2147, you may find, like me, that it's incredibly unstable uh, unless you increase that over voltage. When I overclocked to 2250, I was running an over voltage of 11. Uh, so you do need, obviously that creates more temperature uh, and, uh, and requires more power. So you need uh, an adequate power supply. And my power supply is just the standard uh, Raspberry Pi official power adapter. That's all I'm using. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. So if we go back to it here and uh, just flick through the tabs. Perfectly fine, nice and fast. If I was to scroll up and down, no issue at all. And some of these pages I've picked because they've got lots of content on them. It really is a superb operating system and works incredibly well. And, and as I say, this is playing at the moment. And then we've got our PDFs. 
and you can see all the time the RAM is way, way under the 8 gig uh, that this model has. So, I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.